Welcome to the Wisconsin Conservatory Music Connections program. My name is Natalie Staworski, and this is uh, middle school week, uh, week nine, week nine. All right, week nine. So we're going to go ahead and continue in our essential elements. Number 17, the Outback. Again, we're in the key of G major. A lot of stuff hasn't nearly been as hard as our pirates. It's good to kind of, oh, while well, that's still going, just kind of take back and have a bit more, uh, something easier to work on. So, since this is a lot easier than Pirates, let's go ahead and see if we can play it the best that we can. So, Outback, again, is going to be in G major, 4-4 four, four time. Rhythm is easy. You only have one rest. The only thing I can see is that you have some dynamics. So, the first line, you start forte. You go to the piano, the second line, and at the end, you have a crescendo into forte. So let's talk about how to do really nice dynamics. This applies for our cellos and violins, just all string instruments. So when we want to do forte, we have to, of course, more weight. It's always good to get louder. Sometimes more bow, too. Another thing that really impacts your sound and the volume and the quality is of course the sound point, what we like to call the contact point or sound point. You have five, four, three, two, one. Five different sound points. We like to say the fifth one is closest to the fingerboard. The first one is at the bridge, like right against the bridge. Now if you take your finger and you press your finger up here, that string is really easy to press down. I'm gonna try the same thing down here. Yeah, it's a lot harder. So the string is a lot tougher down there. So depending on uh, what you're going for, you're gonna wanna use different amounts of bow, different weight to play good at each sound point. So down here, if you play really, really light, let's see what happens. Ugh. Ugh. Sounds terrible. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to alter anything. All I'm going to do is alter the position of my bow. I'm going to play light over by the fingerboard. Oh, much better. So because the string is a lot softer there, it does not take pressure well. So if we did the opposite, heavy here. Oh, sounds really terrible. Now let's do heavy up here. Once you get going, it sounds better, but that initial I need rosin sounded quite terrible. So for the most part, when we play, we want to think about where, we're, where our bow is going to be, our sound point, and that affects our dynamics. So when we're piano, we want to be a little bit lighter, a little bit closer to the fingerboard, and forte, we're going to have a little bit of more heaviness of it. So we're going to be closer to the bridge. So let's play this the outback and let's see if we can get some really nice dynamics by changing our bow position all right and again when you're by the fingerboard light by the bridge heavy ready we want forte ready one two ready go tricky thing. We have the crescendo into a forte. So you want to start, you're starting piano, so you're going to start more over here, but as you get louder, you want to do something called traveling. Not really, what well, kind of traveling? You're going to be using more bow, and you're going to be slowly moving the bow towards the bridge. Try that for me. So just one and two and To get the forte. All right, so that's it for this week. Next week, I'll see you again. Have a good practice. Bye.